welcome to all things evil so I'm today I'm gonna create a character this character's name is comrade Chong what I'm trying to do is to create a fighter I want the character to be to, to be a fighter so you know, it, I think boxers bo people who you know those fighters boxers they they have boxers with longer arm they tend to have a advantage uh, against other boxers so I decided to give uh, comrade Chong a slightly elongated uh, arms so he, you know, better reach and, and stuff like that uh, what I really like about this uh, character is the hat I mean the the I think the the China s soldier they they have this hat to protect them from the cold from the, from winter I think to keep their ears from freezing off or something but it keeps I think it keeps them warm so this is this is something that is uh, I, I think is cool the, the the hat itself is the most um, iconic I, w I would say uh, from from what I when I first started as I go along the way I want to test the design what I want to create is something in the future so maybe I will give it a mechanical arm and leg to to, to, to test out whether it will it looks good you know whether it, this this is uh, this version of this character that I'm drawing whether he, he, this guy is uh, comrade Chong. I'm trying to figure out how to make this character more distinctive and more interactive. I, I started do I, I think there's a there's a few ways of doing this uh, process of character design. For me I like to create the structure itself, the skeleton, the, the the clothing, the, the rough edges first and then I move on to creating uh, as such uh, I did a few sketches of uh, posture I, what I'm trying to do is to define the character's personality because you can't you can't create a character without personality it will just be clothes and you just have a standing still character you won't look engaging it won't be the, the eyes don't want to read it so I'm trying to create something that that also it's like a storytelling you see but in in the posture position so I want to create the through the posture to tell a story about that person about how that person is is like uh, I guess that this is what I'm trying to create here but Again, some other there's other artists that do it uh, do it in a different way. You don't need to follow what I'm doing, but for me, I think the best. This is probably not the best way because I I'm fairly new with creating. You can see that I'm pretty much even the layers I I didn't even bother to to name them. So it's quite it's quite. Uh, uh, it, I, I wouldn't say it's professional yet I'm still learning so I always I always hope to learn more each day and hopefully it, it makes sense to other people that what, what I'm trying to do today, what I'm trying to accomplish here yeah. uh, for example I I'm I, I'm right now I'm trying to block in the colors I want to create the the, the gradient I want to make it readable for the eyes first before I add in the colors, try to block in. So I, I decided to, okay, I'm gonna try the grayscale first and do the grayscale and then see see whether it's, it's good for the eyes before I, I jump into the colors. And from there, you can see I added something, some new uh, elements to the character. It's not something that you, you cannot do. This is what I like about art and design. You, along the way you can you can change this thing this this, this might not even be the official comrade Chong 
this Comrade Chong might might change. I I'm thinking about drawing a female version of Comrade Chong. I mean it, it does you know it doesn't have to be a male all the time. So I am thinking of creating a female version of, of Comrade Chong. But as of now, this is the Comrade Chong that I have drawn. So I'm testing the colors, I'm making sure um, what what I see right now. I want to I want to be able to create uh, something that the eyes can read you see so colors and experiments you know we it goes uh, you have you have you have to keep trying uh, for, for me uh, I think my process of uh, of doing art or doing character design is to keep trying I, I, I want to understand what color this character will make this character shines the most shines the most to, to bring out the light from this character uh, this character will act will be able people will be able to relate to it you know so you know, wh why I have chosen here is uh, very simple I try to use contrasting colors I try to I, I try to see what colors uh, if I were to play with some other um, colors would would they, would you make it more more distinctive or less distinctive and then I put them aside and then I I, I make I make uh, additional uh, comparison with each other uh, I think I made a mistake uh, from drawing this uh, I forgotten to color one of the shoes the one of the shoes was supposed to be both was supposed to be red but I think I missed it out. I mi I just <laughs> I just created one and then I missed it out. Uh, and I from there it, it jump start another you know idea. I thought it, because of the mechanical leg, instead of giving him both sh both uh, shoes are uh, the same, I decided that then then that oh I'm gonna recreate the leg the the shoes itself. The shoes will be different for the for the characters. I want to I want to make sure that the shoes will be slightly uh, taller. That that was the initial thought that I wanted, and then I I, I cut off the I, I decided the the neck itself. Um, I don't want to use that shape, so I give it a better color. Yeah, right here, I'm just you know blocking in the colors this this is just um, this is not the final comrade uh, comrade chong so i'm just blocking in the colors this is the colors that i i want that to see on um, the on my character i i decided that the the army green uh, slightly uh, a bit uh, worn you know it's like overwash slightly a bit over a bit dirty uh, I, I like that in, in comparison with the red you see green and red is, you know it's, it reminds me of Christmas but at the same time it's it is a good contrast that you know it gives people this uh, contrast uh, from even from far you will be able to see it and then uh, the, the power button it look like <laughs> some sort of power button right in the middle of the cage and that that is something uh, I I I thought it would be cool, you know, to have a hole in this in this uh, uh, rib cage. So it's actually a you, if you it opens up and then it becomes it becomes a uh, foot grinder or something, <laughs> or you can put things in. Or I I'm not sure, <laughs> but this this is part of the character design that I'm thinking about. Oh, how how useful is is the is the is the uh, things that is on top of uh, on the characters, uh, and and I really like the, uh, the posture that on on this comrade Chong. I, I like the 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 way he is standing. You know, he's he's not the hero. You can tell he's not the hero. I slightly move the shoulder down a bit, so he he looks like you know if if he's a hero, he will you have a slightly more more uh, flair. So this this guy is cl clearly not the hero. He's like like um, some something else, something different. So, but he's a character that I want I want to give him a, a heavy weapon to 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 look at. So, 
you, you, you can tell I'm trying to point the, at the character using the heavy weapon but I'm not sure whether that works yeah. maybe I will change his weapon eventually I think the weapon will, I will have to go into weapon design you know to create the, the weapons that I like uh, a bit uh, this is the the, the squad that <laughs> I wanted to create a, a funny side of this character, so I wanted to give him a squad. But I realized that because of all the the metal, you know, the lake, and the the and the, the imbalance imbalance between the arms and the legs, it might not be a good idea to make him squad. I, I particularly like this. I like this a lot. I like the idea that he's running away. And then he's grabbing his arm, and then from I think my initial um, the doodle, I, I I gave him a slightly tilted head, so he's like he, his arm is trying to grab his face, so he's like, but it, actually it's just him running away, you know, like sprint, trying to sprint away. Uh, uh, for, I, I, I think I think I didn't show the process of me drawing the my my comrade Chong running away because I think my Photoshop crashed uh, a few times so I decided you know I think I didn't record the entire process but I think you see you see the the running guy uh, eventually at the end uh, this this is one of the one of the posture that I wanted to use but I I, I didn't do it very well because I, I did the entire drawing like in three hours all, all this in three hours it's not healthy to do that this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna divide my time wisely one hour on the character design and then one hour I'm gonna play something and then I will come back and draw again like my video if you enjoy this process take care have a nice day bye